Hello, class. Hi, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How is everybody? I'm fine. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. How's everybody with uh, this horrible heat? It's very hot, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I know it's it's quite bad weather, but you know we just have to we just have to um, you know stay up. Just wait till till it finishes. Hopefully, in about two or three weeks, it will be over. Let's let's hope. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, great. I'm glad that everybody is here on time. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you guys for um, for being here on time. All right. Um, without any further ado, I'm going to take attendance um, so that we can do the attendance right at the beginning. So let me um, see. All right. Just give me a second. Okay, let me check to see who is here. All right, so do I have Ana Claudia? As a teacher. Wonderful, thank you, Ana Claudia. Uh, Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. Wonderful, okay. Edgar Alfredo? Edgar Alfredo? No, not here? Okay. Um, Elsie Janet. Elsie Janet. Elsie, no. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, Fabiola. Is Fabiola here? Yes, I think it's sorry. Present, chair. Wonderful. Thank you, Fabiola. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present, teacher. Wonderful. All right. Heidi Eugenia. Heidi? Here, teacher. All right, excellent. Here. Okay, Irene Azucena? Irene Azucena? No, not here? Irene Azucena? Okay, maybe she will be, she will be in later. Okay, um, let's see, do we have uh, Josue Alberto? Jose Alberto, Josue Alberto, no, Josue is not here, no, oh, okay, all right, that's weird, um, okay, um, Juan Francisco, Present, wonderful, thank you, Carla Cano, Present, teacher. wonderful, uh, Carla, are you having problems with your, with your camera? Maybe you can help me with that. If there's if there's no problem, you can maybe help me with the camera. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Liliana Melissa. Liliana Melissa. Melissa Melissa. No. Okay. Um, all right. Luis Ernesto. All right. Excellent. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Wonderful. Manuel de Jesus. No, no entrado todavía. Manuel de Jesus. No. Okay. All right. Not here. Uh, Marvin and Wilfredo. Present teacher. All right. Great, Marvin. Wendy, Patricia. Here, teacher present. Wonderful. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Werner? Present, teacher. I am driving, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Soyla Noemi? Present, teacher. Yes. <laughs> it's time. Okay. Um, Soyla Noemi is here. Wonderful. Thank you. Present. 
Yeah, I gotcha. All right, uh, and Yvonne. Present. Wonderful. Daniel de los Santos. Daniel? No? Daniel's not here. Okay. Um, Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto? Ah. Hello. Hello, Jorge. Um, uh, I have a question for you, Jorge. Um, do you do you have any problems with um, with the uh, with the camera? One minute, please. Sorry, could you repeat that? One minute, please. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. All right. Um, and Marlene Elizabeth. Marlene, Marlene, Marlene. No, I can't see her. Okay, not here. And Ricardo Alexander. Ricardo Alexander? No, okay. But I'm going to repeat the names of the people that I didn't hear. Um, okay, so. Uh, let me see, is yes, present teacher, present teacher. Wonderful. Bye. Yeah. Uh, Irene Azucena? Azucena? No, todavía no está. Ok, bye. Muy bien. Uh, Josué Alberto. Aún no. Okay. Um, Liliana Melissa. Todavía no. Ok. Eh, Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. No, tampoco. Ok. Eh, Daniel de los Santos. Ok. Marlene Elizabeth. Marlene Elizabeth. No. Ok. And Ricardo Alexander. Okay, bye. Entonces, ya está. All right, guys. Thank you guys for being here on time. Present teacher. Good evening. Hi. Ah, yes. Sorry, I got you. Yeah. So, I, you're right. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Okay. I got okay. you. Thanks. Okay, perfect. And, all right. So, so guys, welcome to today's class. Um, glad that you guys uh, were able to connect on time. Thank you very much for that. Um, so I hope everybody has had a good day today. Has, has everybody's day been good? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Yes, teacher. All yes, right, teacher. excellent. All right, well, I hope that you have all um, had a good a good day and that you've been working with air conditioner because this is terrible heat a very very bad heat so it's, whew, it's very hot so i hope everybody has had um ac at in their workplace or or you have been at, um close to a pool <laughs> okay all right so anyways guys um yesterday i asked you to do for home um the the organization of the, of the procedures to make the chocolate, remember? So I will just, well, first of all, uh, I'm going to show you, let me show you the PowerPoint presentation. In a moment, tell me when you can see it. No. Yes, we see. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is beginner module five, unit one. Uh, today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. It's day number two. Your teacher is Jessica Herrero. Okay, so let's begin here with, um, so this was the homework, right? I asked you guys to put this, the process in the order that was logical to be able to make the dark chocolate press, right? Um, 
Okay, so any any problems? A any anything that you want to ask about before we are able to compare the answers? Were you able to do the homework? Any problems? Miss? Yeah. Honestly, I couldn't I couldn't make it. I don't know. I tried to find a logic order mm -hmm. on the steps, but I couldn't. I, I don't know since I don't know the process of making their start chocolate espresso. I, I feel kind of frustrated. Okay, I, I understand that maybe you're, I mean, you don't know all of the process because I don't think anybody here is a chocolate maker, right? So I think, I don't know. Any, anybody here knows how to make chocolate? No? I don't know. No. No, okay, all right, so there you go. So we're nobody, not even myself, I don't know how to make chocolate. So we're nobody is really a, a chocolate maker. But we can, I mean, we can kind of um, guess what the process is in the sense that what is logical to think, um, you know, what what is the logical order when you, you make a product, right? Um, so it, you think about, for example, you know, if, if, um, if, the, per, if the, the process, um, if we better said, okay, if they mentioned that uh, that you have to mix the blah, blah, blah with this and this, that means that before, in the step before, you had already had the, those two things mixed. Does that make sense? Like, okay, what, what I mean is this, um, for yes. example, um, hmm, let's see. Um, but maybe it's me, maybe someone else. Uh, did it yeah if anybody else did it for okay well for example um well to give you okay this is something very obvious what would be the last step uh, uh-huh looking at the logical look at all, all, all this what's the logical order what do you think is the last step? The cocoa must go straight to the factories in Union or Santa Ana. Exactly, yeah. So this obviously is going to be the last step. Why? Because you can't send, um, you can't send uh, the, the, the cocoa mass unless it's already to, to the factories, unless it's already prepared, right? So that means that um, that this would have to be logically the last one, right? So we know the first one, we know the last one, and then we go through the different process of what we think would be the, the logical order. So now let me tell you something. This is this may you may have different or a different order with your partners, um, you know, and that's okay. Uh, we just want to see what you think. I, I want you to use your logic. Try to figure out what do you think goes with what, what ingredients go together and so on. So um, first of all, but before we do that, I just want to make sure that everybody understands the, the, the vocabulary, okay? So we'll start with the first part it says, we condense fresh whole milk. Do we understand the vocabulary in this one? Yes. Anyone? Yeah. yeah. Everybody understands whole milk? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. So whole milk is uh, the milk without any any removal of the of the fat, right? Okay. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Do we understand the vocabulary here? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Now this word here, I know that it has an a at the end, but this a is not really pronounced. So you don't say cocoa. It's cocoa. 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 Okay. Everybody, repeat after me. Cocoa. Cocoa. 
cool. it's not coco like like the you know like in spanish the fruit you know it's coco not- coco <laughs> exactly coco exactly. coco 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 mm-hmm. exactly like soap <laughs> like what it is soft it, we pronounce it softly yeah exactly coco okay yeah, coco mm-hmm. good all right then we have we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid any questions about this vocabulary no no okay no. all right next we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass any questions about that the chair uh-huh. the word rich the Spanish word is rica, rico. Yes, uh, but when it talks about it, you're right, it's yes, rich, um, but when talking about rich as in food, it's not like rich like uh, lots of money. It's rich like a, it's like, um, it, it's, it means that it's, um, it has a lot of, um, con, um, of texture. Yeah. So when it says we produce a rich, creamy chocolate liquid, it means that the um, the liquid has a very thick um, texture. Okay. That it's not it's not li- like it's not very liquid. It's more it's more like uh, the texture is more um, uh, thick. Yeah, that's what it is. It's thick. Remember the word thick. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Okay. So that's what we mean by rich. Como queriendo decir espeso. Exactly. Uh, okay. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any other, anything else that you want to know? The meaning? We're up to here. Actually, we're, we're over here. So any questions up to this point? So remember, words a, in a in a in a language have different meaning depending on the context right so normally rich means like rich that you have a lot of money right um but and rich could also be like um it, it, in another context for example it means that it could be that um it has a, like for example a rich culture if for, you could say to give you an example um uh, mexico has a very rich culture and what that means is that the culture is um it 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 has a variety of things lots of culture to talk about lots of culture to investigate that's in that context rich and in this context when we're talking about food it means something that is very thick in texture okay okay and usually it goes together with the word creamy so rich creamy means that the cream is very thick. Okay. Okay, next we have the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in the La Union or Santa Ana. Any questions about the vocabulary here? No. Straight. No. Straight. 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 Straight means um, that it goes directly directly right so it doesn't it doesn't go to another place it goes boom directly to the factories okay okay anything else mass means massa yes but be careful be careful because <laughs> in english um the word well it well better said in Spanish, the word masa eh, puede significar muchas diferentes um, cosas. O macho, la masa puede tener diferentes texturas, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, hay una masa para hacer pan. And in English, we don't, we don't call that mass, right? The, 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 la masa para pan, eh, we call it in English dough dough okay all right you please spell it i'm sorry 
Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'll write it right here. It, Sound interesting. Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Okay. I, I it, always battle with the word a flower with the word that I don't know is this flower or flower I don't know how to pronounce flower <laughs> yes flower but yes. it sounds like flower like the it was the same pronunciation rose. <laughs> yeah it's the same pronunciation it's just oh, that really? it sounds differently and it means different things ah. the word flower means arena right uh -huh. so to make a dough uh you have to have flour right or yeah some sort of flour um, uh -huh. so the flour uh combined with water or other ingredients that are liquid make a dough but the dough is something that is um it's 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 very solid okay uh the dough you can you know you can make a big ball with it and it doesn't um it sticks right it sticks like a ball it doesn't fall apart uh whereas a mass it's a little bit more um more rich and creamy and and um and liquidy more than a dough okay so the dough is more like um it, it's almost dry whereas the mass has more like a nutella a, sorry like a Nutella? No, 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 because Nutella is, um, no, 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 you can make a mask with Nutella. If you, if you get Nutella and some other dry product, you would make a mask. Okay. But okay. it's by itself, Nutella, no. Like if it's alone, no, you would not be able to make a mask. Uh, so if you, for example, combine Nutella with, um, I don't know, with peanut butter. You guys know peanut butter? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'll just write it here for the people that don't know. Um, pe peanut butter. Okay, or in Spanish, how do you say peanut butter in Spanish? Mantequilla de mani. Mantequilla de mani. So if you combined peanut butter, and Nutella, you would make a mess. Okay, does that make sense? Because peanut butter is very, is like very solid. Yeah, si ustedes sienten la consistencia de, de, de la mantequilla de maní, es, es bastante sólida, right? O sea, sí se puede eh, manovir, pero, pero es bastante sólida. Yeah. Y en este caso, ¿de cocoa más es más líquida? ¿De yeah. cocoa más? The, the, oh. the mass, the mass is not liquid, but it's, it's softer than the dough. Mm, I understand. Okay. It's okay. Soft. It's more mm -hmm. manipulable, right? Like, you, okay. You can, you can like touch it and, and make it different, um, different, uh, um, shapes and things like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Anything else? Any other problems? Any other questions? No? Don't okay, entenderemos entonces más como la materia prima de la cocoa. No, 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 no. Mass is like a dough. Okay, it's... it's okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a dough, but uh, more liquid. Yeah, exactly. A little bit more, <laughs> more malleable. Like, you can you can easily manipulate it yeah okay thank you el, el, by, para que lo entienda un poquito mejor la el dough eh, se, se mantiene por lo general en su misma eh, en, en el mismo um, la, la misma figura o, o verdad textura textura verdad, que uno quiere verdad lo, lo tiene una laza una bola y se mantiene ahí Mientras que eh, la el más es un poquito más, se puede man, manipular un, un poco más para porque es un poquito más, eh, una consistencia más líquida, ¿verdad? Un poquito, ¿verdad? No un montón. Entonces, fácilmente usted puede hacer cualquier cosa, pero sí, tiene una consistencia un poquito más líquida. Ok. okay. 
y, y el dough, que es la masa, por ejemplo, para tortillas sería dough, ¿verdad? Porque la tortilla no es, la textura no es muy líquida, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Es más, es más, eh, uh, pues la, más seco. Okay. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. Mm -hmm. um, this one, uh, we cook these ingredients together. We understand this vocabulary? Yes. So far, so good? Yeah? Okay. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Crumbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, crumbs. The word crumbs. Anybody know what the word crumbs means? Idea? Could be similar like chunks? No. Como migas. Exactly. Think about when you eat a cookie. When you eat a cookie um, and all those little pieces of the cookie that fall to the floor, those are crumbs or on the table. Okay. Yeah, those are yeah. crumbs. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's continue. Uh, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor, um, and coffee beans, as well as special chocolate flavoring. Questions? No? No. Okay, next. At the, cho uh, at the chocolate uh, factory, we, we pass the crumbs through a Pin mill. Pin mill. What does it mean, teacher? Okay, okay, good. Um, any ideas what a pin mill is? It's a molino, I guess. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's right. That's exactly what it is. Okay. All right, anything else? No? Can we use this word pin meal for coffee? For all these little machines, are those also named uh, as pin meal? Uh, some machines, the little machines that we use for a uh, coffee grains or coffee. Oh no, that's a, that's a grinder. That's a, a ah okay grinder, coffee bean grinder. Okay, in this case, pin mill is because I guess I just can imagine it's a big one. I don't know if I'm correct. No. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a coffee bean grinder. Grinder, okay. Yeah, coffee bean grinder. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have Chocolate undergoes the final special production stage stages, refining, conching, and tempering. Anything else? Conching, okay. maybe. <laughs> undergoes um, conching and starts refining. Sorry. Uh, again? Undergoes conching and instead refining. Conching undergoes and what? He said undergoes. Uh huh. And the other one? I heard that one, but I didn't know the other one. Conching? Refining. Stage refining. Tempering. No, stage refining. Or ref oh, stages. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Uh, just, just I, I under, I need you to understand the word stages is separate, okay, mm. from refining. Okay, so it's not together. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just that they it it uses a um, a dash, it, similar to um, similar to um, a comma. Okay, but ah. it's, it's not together. Okay, so do you, you, do, you do understand stages? Mm -hmm. Adios. 
So instead of the dash, it should be a comma right there? It's a mistake or what? Um, no, 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 no. No, it's just that sometimes we use, um, we use the, 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 the dash, this mm -hmm. is called the dash, the yun. We use the dash, it's no, this is not a hyphen, okay? It's no. different from a hyphen. Hyphen mm -hmm. connects two words together. Whereas this is um, a, a, a dash and what it does, it's, it's very, it works the same way as a, as a comma, Oh. separating the ideas but connecting them at the same time it's kind of like um a, or maybe not like a in this case is maybe not mo more like a it's instead of more instead of like a comma it's more like a um a semi like a colon you understand what a colon is no i don't no um Punto y coma? No, the other one. It's uh, just the, okay, I'm going to show you what the colon is. Apostrophe. Yes, this is a colon. Mm. Okay. And colon. So, so in this case, uh, the dash is similar to a colon or, or a comma. Okay. Ah, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, Okay. All right. So the word undergo. Okay. This is a, this is a, a, um, a verb. Okay. Um, and what it is, is um, it means that um, Teacher. it goes through a process. Huh? Finally, uh, it says, stage is refining, uh, meaning uh, sala refinado or algo así. Oh, okay, just no, no, give me a moment, give me a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there, okay? Just give me a moment. Um, okay, uh, okay, the word undergo means that um, it goes through, it, mm. it is, it is, um, it, it, you, it's subjected to a process. That's what it means, undergo. Does that make sense? So it's a must, like a must go to that process. No. What it means, it's a it's a verb. And if and if, ah, okay. Okay, let me let me see the word in Spanish. It's more it, it means to go through or to be um, to be uh, presented into a into a process. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I'm telling I'm gonna tell you the exact word. Just give me a moment. Um, Experimentar, so, mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. yeah, it, 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 well, it conveys the idea, like, even though in Spanish, you may be someterse a un proceso. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah, someterse. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. It, it Thank goes, you. It goes through the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have the word stages. You understand the word stages? Stages like uh, steps, right? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. And refining, it means um, to make something pure. Yeah. Refine. So in this case, uh, as this is used uh, similar to a comma, it's like this is the first step, refining. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Oh, I thought that when we use, when a word was used with a dash, it was or is because it has a different minute. That is the confusion I got with the stage dash refining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now that you explain that sometimes it's used as a comma, makes sense. Exactly. The thing is this, um, this can either be a dash, mm -hmm. this, 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 this Tim symbol here can be a dash or it can be what we call a hyphen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in English, they serve different purposes. A, a dash is more like um, similar to a comma or a colon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a hyphen is used to connect 
two words together. Okay. Okay. So this symbol can be different things depending on on how it's used. Okay. Okay. All right. So for example, in words like um, good looking, good looking has a dash. Mm -hmm. And that means that you are combining the word good and looking together. And that's why you use a hyphen. But in this case, this is not a hyphen. This is a dash that just as you mentioned, Ana Claudia, it's saying this is the first step in the stages. The first step or the first stage is refining. Okay. Okay. And you guys understand refining? Everybody understands the word refining? Yes. Like in Spanish, right? Refinar. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Now, the next word, conching, okay, is specifically um, a referring to the process of making chocolate, okay? This word is a specific, it's the name of a process that is used only for chocolate. So this is not a word you're gonna see very often, okay? It's not an everyday speech kind of word. So in English, you're not gonna see this word very often. This is a very technical word to talk about the process of chocolate making. And what this, what this um, process um, refers to is when um, you, um, you emphasize the texture and the, and the taste, right? The taste of the chocolate by, uh, by making the, it, it, yeah, it makes the flavor um, develop more by making a friction of heat, okay? By putting, uh, putting heat, right, uh, calor, okay, so when you, Cuando se agrega el calor, ¿verdad? Y también hay fricción, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso hace que ese proceso se como, como que um, saque más el sabor de, del chocolate. So, it, that, that is actually, like I said, it's, it's specific for chocolate making. Okay? Okay. ¿Los he perdido en algún lugar? ¿O conmigo? They are with you. <laughs> yes? We're okay? Okay. And yeah. so when, then we have the word tempering. Okay? Um, again, tempering, um, we're, we're talking about the different process uh, of um, chocolate making, right? So we're talking about a lot of vocabulary that has to do specifically with um, chocolate making, okay? Um, and in this case, uh, it's, it's basically you are improving, we're, we're improving the, the taste of the chocolate, okay? Uh, by heating it up, okay? Yeah, and then cooling it, that's tempering. Um, It's like when you, have you ever seen people make glass um, objects? ¿Ya han visto cómo, cómo, cómo crean el, uh, digamos, un, uh, una, no sé, un, un... Cuando queman y lo manipulan y lo funden. Ajá, ajá, exactly. Uh, you've seen when they manipulate the glass? Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you seen that, guys? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So you can see that they, they, they make it, like, they put a lot of heat, a lot of, like, lead, they put it in the fire, mm -hmm. they manipulate it, and then they let it cool, sometimes by air, or sometimes they put it in cool water so that it, it um, cools down quickly. ¿Ya han visto ese proceso? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, so that's temporary. Sorry, that's tempering. 
Okay. Okay. Templar. Mm -hmm. Dar temple. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and um, and that makes it a, li a little bit like tougher, right? That that mm -hmm. makes it a little bit stronger. Like for example, in the case of metal, it makes it stronger. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No, I understand better. <laughs> okay, so like I said, these are all steps to making the, the chocolate, right? Refining, first you make it like pure, then you make, you do the conching, which is making the, um, the flavor come out to be more, um, more emphasized. And then we have the tempering, which makes it be like tougher, right? Okay. All right, guys. So having said this, what I want you guys to do, we're going to get into groups. Um, and I'm going to, so I'm going to divide you into groups. And I want you to share with your partner the steps that you think are the correct order. Now, you remember yesterday we learned vocabulary. And I'm going to put it here just so that you guys remember what we're talking about. Okay, so we were learned words like first. What else? What other words did we learn? Second. 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 Then. Third. Third. After. Then. then. After. After that. Okay. That. Next. Next. Finally. Okay. So those are the words that we learned. And what I want you to do is I want you to explain to your classmates what you think is the correct order using these expressions so for example the, we would say first we process uh, or first process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass second blah 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 i don't know whatever you think it is maybe this one second we uh second produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid example okay third imagine that this is number three we uh third condense fresh whole milk and then the last one we that we know is this one we'd say finally um the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Union and San Paga. Okay? All right, so we understand what we're gonna be doing? Clear? Yes, no? Yes. Everything's clear, beauty? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm gonna make the groups. So let's... Um, Um, let's make the groups. Okay. Um, in a moment. Okay. All right. So we're going to open it. And the idea is that I need you guys to Compare the answers, okay? So go ahead, join your groups. Teacher, in my case, uh, the, the uh, accounts uh, yeah, um, it, if you uh, if you noticed, they it sends you to the same group, so um, you can you can decide to keep one in in here or in or you want to take both of them. That's fine. Oh, okay. So it's in the same group. So if you noticed, they sent you to the same group. Ah, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Teacher. You're welcome. Uh, Jorge, me escucha?
Jorge. Jorge Villanueva. Jorge. Are you there? Jorge, está usted ahí? Jorge, Jorge Villanueva. Me try. I can try. I can try if you want. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, because I don't have opportunity. You got it? Yes, you got it. Okay, so let's discuss <laughs> what we think the first, the first step is market right there. First step is, now that we have the list, uh, I don't know, I was reading and I was thinking that maybe, maybe it would be the last step, could be the last one on the right side at the bottom. Chocolate undergoes the final special production stage. I don't know, what do you think? We add sugar, the condensed milk with the some. And okay. Ah, Eva, if I were going to ask the problem. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, the first is a, we process to quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass, but I did the second step. Uh, Sorry, Martin, just, just remember that you don't say cocoa, it's cocoa. Coco. 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 No, no cocoa. Coco. No cocoa como el... La fruta. Como coco. 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 Yes, perfect. Coco. Coco. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Second step. Eh. Sí. Como cuando ya ha terminado todo el proceso. Como que más lógico. Ayuca, ¿verdad? Como no conocemos el proceso, pero lo dejamos así entonces. Sí. Whatever you wrote for homework. Whatever you did for homework. <laughs> We were saying that if we cook this, this, this dark chocolate espresso, it's going to taste like Coke. <laughs> it's going to taste like what? Like Coke. Coke? Coca -Cola. Really? Why? <laughs> Why? Because we're not going to make it the right way. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind if it, if it, it was like Coke. That would be great. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it at all. Me neither. <laughs> so we we think we are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Marvin's not <Yeah>. ready. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin's like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, Marvin. Uh, we don't know no. exactly, but we try. Yeah, I mean that's the important thing. It's not, you know, I'm not expecting you to be experts in cho in chocolate making, but. Yeah, just try. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> pongámonos de acuerdo para que todos lo pongamos okay. en el mismo okay. orden. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, your chocolate and coffee face. Okay, uh, chocolate is a finally product. Uh -huh. Es un producto final. The chocolate. Cocoa is a prime material. Uh -huh. You can help you, teacher, with an order. Um, sure, I'm going to help you in a moment. Yeah, but right now you're just comparing your answers, but I will tell you the answers, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, uh, you are ready, guys? Yes, no? Not too much, but <laughs> I, I will see the answer. So maybe I can okay. understand. All right, but you have you have uh, you have compared your answer. You've compared the answers or no? Guys? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Perfect. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Okay, great guys. Okay, so um, I think the majority of you have shared your answers. Many of you were expressing and saying, I don't know, I have no idea teacher. I've never, I don't know anything about chocolate and that's okay. The important thing with this activity was not to be perfect in the process of chocolate making. The important thing with this activity was practicing the first blah, 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 blah second blah 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 third blah 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 after that blah 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 next blah blah later and finally okay so that's what the what was important okay so don't worry if you didn't understand everything don't worry if you got it if you're going if you you got answers that were not correct that's okay all right so i'm going to share the the presentation and we're going to check the answers Okay, tell me when you can see it. Can you all see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so we know that number one is we, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. What do you think is number two? So that's the first, blah, blah, blah. Second, what would we say was second? In my case, the cocoa must go straight to the factory in Onion or Santa. Yeah, exactly. This one right here. That's it. Okay. That is the second one. So second, blah, 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 right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, number three. Or what? But I said, no, not number three. We're going to say third. Third, what happens third? Third, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some on the cocoa mass. Any other ideas? Uh, third, we condense fresh whole milk. Okay. So back with it. Another answer, another possibility. It's actually this one. So third, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Okay. So in other words, 
First, we get the mass, and now we're going to have to get the liquid, the chocolate liquid. Okay. All right. Number four. Any ideas? We condense press wall milk. Yes, that's because that is correct. Very good. Yes. Four, we condense fresh whole milk. Five. We add sugar to the condensed milk with some of cocoa mass. Yeah. There you go, five. Okay, next. We cook these ingredients together. Perfect. Good. After that. We mix um, the crumbs. Cocoa. Cocoa. Remember, not cocoa, it's cocoa. Cocoa, liquor, and coffee beans, as well as fish. Close. The meal evaporates to meal to make meal chocolate crumbs. Yes, very good. The milk evaporates to milk to make milk chocolate crumbs. Next. Then we mix the crumbers with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Remember crumbs. This is crumbs. Crumb. And this is cocoa. Crumbs. Cocoa. Oh. Good. Mm -hmm. Next. At the chalk. Sorry. Number number. The next one. Number nine. <laughs> What's number nine? Chocolate factory with plus crumbs, straw up camel. That's right. The chocolate. Factory, sorry, at the chocolate factory, pass the crumbs through a pin meal. Meal. And finally, mm -hmm. chocolate undergoes. And this is the most difficult one. So, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate undergoes. Choc the finally special production is stay refining um conching. Co coaching and tempering good conching and tempering very good that's the fine the final process there you go so those are so even though you are not chocolate makers but now you know how to make it okay now you know how to make chocolate okay very good guys now, what I want you to do, um, okay, so, okay, so what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go and do now your turn sets. Work in groups, I'm gonna get you guys to work in small groups. Choose a product to make steps of the, manufa the manufacturing process. Write it down, report to the class, okay? So, you're gonna work as a group, Okay, you're gonna work um, in a small group and you're going to choose a product. Between the people in your group, you're gonna choose a product and you're going to think about what steps you have to take in order to make that product. The product can be anything you want, but you have to use the steps that we talked about. First, second, third, next, after that, later, finally, okay? So you can use those seven words, seven steps, 
or if you want to add more remember i told you you can use words like after that next later or you can or can you can use words like and to combine two processes together if you think that there are too many steps okay i'm gonna give you i would say um, let's see what time it is right now okay actually um right now it's almost nine o'clock on the dot so before we go to the groups i'm going to um i'm going to take attendance um si me pueden ayudar ahí con sus camaritas eh, les agradecería bastante uh, para que podamos ahí tomar la asistencia saber que sí de hecho es usted quien dice presente <laughs> okay um so just give me a moment Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Andres. Present teacher. Wonderful. Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Janet. Janet. Uh oh. Janet. I no. think it's Chris. Yeah, I, I think so. Because I can see her, but yeah, I think her image is frozen. Okay, she's probably having internet problems, so we'll have to. Oh, yeah, she definitely did have internet problems. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll check. Oh, there she is. Okay, Janet. Oh, we can't hear you, Sir. I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Great. Okay, Fabiola. Present teacher. Wonderful. Francisco Javier. Present. Wonderful. Um, Heidi Eugenia. Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, one. Do you prefer Present. Heidi or Eugenia? ¿Cuál de los prefiere? Heidi. Heidi, okay, great. Heidi. Okay, excellent. Uh, Irene Azucena. Present. All right. Okay. And do you prefer Irene or Azucena? Irene. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Josué Alberto. Josué Alberto. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. Great. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Liliana, Liliana Melissa. Melissa, Melissa. No está Melissa. Okay. Um, Luis Ernesto. Teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Manuel, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús no está, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Marvin. Present teacher. Great. Wendy. Present teacher. Great. Do you prefer Wendy or Patricia? Wendy. Please. Ok. Wonderful. All right, uh, Werner. Present teacher. Perfect, okay. Uh, Noemi? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Okay, great. Uh, Daniel? Daniel? Daniel de los Santos? No. Okay, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Creo que lo había visto. Se desconectó, Jorge Alberto. No, okay, no está. Uh, all right, Marlene Elizabeth. Marlene Elizabeth, no. Y... Hey. Esa. 
Eh, present teacher. Oh, ok, está, ok. Eh, ¿Tiene problemas ahí con su cámara? Algo, algo me le tocó la bebé, teacher. Oh. Sí, tú. Ahí le está la respuesta que está contestando. Algo me le tocó. Okay. Creo que voy a salir y voy a volver a entrar. Ok, está bien, no hay problema. Bueno, ok, okay. Uh, Ricardo Alexander. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, I see. Uh, do you prefer Ricardo or Alexander? Uh, Alex. I prefer uh, Alex. Okay, I will try to remember. Thank you. Good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, um, great. So let's continue now. Like I said, we're going to make, a, we're going to make groups. I'm going to give you, um, I would say, uh, seven, eight minutes to think about the process. No lo hagan complicado, okay? No piensen de que, ay, voy a hacer 20 pasos, ¿verdad? No, just make it as simple as possible, okay? The, the more simple it is, right? The simpler it is, the better, okay? So, um, yeah, you know, just do a few steps. Make, just make sure that you use first, second, later, after that, net, finally, and you'll be okay. All right, so let's make the groups. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give you seven minutes and starting now. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Hold on, stop guys. I'm gonna, sorry guys. I just, I forgot it. Oh, no, no, it's fine, sorry. Yeah, sorry guys, go ahead. Hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Eh, creo que estamos en el mismo grupo. <laughs> en el mismo grupo lo puse. Sí. Oh, en serio. Con razas. Uh, bueno, ok. Eh. No, no en el mismo grupo, pero. Con la misma persona. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yo me equivoqué. Ah, oh, ok. Va. Hoy estoy con Zuleima, con Juan Francisco y con Alex. Ah, ok, perfecto. All right. Okay. So go ahead, join the group and enjoy. Ok. Thank you. Ok, hello Marvin. Hello. Hello Juan Francisco. Hello. Nice to meet you, Alex. Hi, good evening, everybody. Eh, perdón, una pregunta. Estoy yo. Una, una sala. Ustedes están todavía en la sala principal. Yes. We're back in. Pero yo le di clic al. Yes. Sí, me regresó. Me regresó. A eso me refería yo. Ajá, a eso yes. me refería yo. Los rechazados. Anyone love it? Okay, ahorita, ahorita arreglamos. And Ricardo, ah, okay. Okay, okay, go ahead, Ricardo, you can join them. No me dejo entrar, teacher. No le dejo entrar. Mm -mm. ¿A qué grupo le he nada? Eh, room 2, decía. No, al 5. Le mando del 5. Mm, bye. Oh, no, 
no le gusta el 5. No, sí. Es que en la primera decía Room 2. En la Ay, segunda no. Me estoy mandando el 5 porque. Ah, ok, ok. ¿No? ¿Está bien, no? No, no parece. No ok, parece. Vale, vamos a una cosa. Lo voy a poner en la sala de espera y después le voy a dar nuevamente que, que ingrese y lo vamos a, a asignar. ¿Ok? Ok. Okay. Vaya. Qué raro. No me aparece como. Simplemente me parece como que no se ha unido. Ok, lo voy a hacer uno nuevo. Marlene, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to sign you to group number number five. And I'm going to sign Ricardo to group number. Uh, okay, I'm going to sign you to group number three. Okay. Mezclar los huevos. Mix, mix the eggs with milk and uh, ice cream. Sugar and sugar. Sugar. And, and mix eggs with milk and sugar. Yes. Make sure and uh, cheese and cheese. Okay. Then, and luego es en el de en el depósito hay que embarrarlo con la mate, con la mantequilla. Ya. El ay, pero no sé cómo llamarlo. El bowl, el bowl, el bowl, no bowl. <laughs> Creo que no bowl, el, pero el ay cómo se llama mm. Pyrex ¿Ah? sí 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 un Pyrex puede ser es un Pyrex um, con la mantequilla butter okay put put the butter <laughs> Sí, Reyes Ángel, Reyes Ángel, sí. Ajá, va. Sería entonces. Teacher. Hi, guys. Oh. Me acabo de dar cuenta de algo. ¿Qué, teacher? Que solo ustedes están, solo ustedes dos están. Yes, teacher. <ríe> es, que, es que yo miraba que eran tres, pero es porque, porque está usted con. Ah, no, 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 pero sería en este caso de barro. Uh, is, is different the, the production de chocolate de uh, amas amas cómo se llama de amasado. Mm. Um, uh -huh. 
Um, um, the meats. Se this is, this is, um, this is para barro. Yes, arcilla. Mm -hmm. Play, play. Oh. Um, I don't know if you can do the clay. Do the clay. Um, let me think, let me just make sure. Um, yeah, you can do. You can also do. It's it's a verb. Do. The same, the do. same word. Mm -hmm. Do. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, we are starting. Sorry? Not teacher. Uh, we are in the first step. You're on the first step? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. <laughs> let, let, remember I told you, keep it simple. As simple mm -hmm. as possible. Um, entre más simple, mejor. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, Second, uh, uh, sería segundo pasa y es um, entonces déjame ver otra tenemos vez. uno dos tres cuatro cinco uh -huh. cinco pasos repítenos miramos cómo quedaron okay first you have, you one, have to take two, the measures three, four five the... steps ajá uh -huh, five steps first you have to, to take the measure of the customer. And second. The customer, customer. Okay, second, you have to make the patterns. And third, uh, you have to cut the cloth. Mm -hmm. After that, you have to sew the pieces. And finally, uh, the customer must to try it out. To see, must try it out, not to try it out. Just must try it out. Must try it out. Okay. To see, to see if it fits. To see if it fits. If it fits. Okay. 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 Uh, what do you think? Do you agree? I do. How about you, Rexy? Bueno, por los ingredientes que no lo. The first is have uh, uh, the ingredients. Ajá, los ingredientes son primero. To get the ingredients. The second is prepare the cooking mass. Yes. Um, uh -huh, yes. And third, mix egg with the milk and sugar. Uh -huh, la mezcla. Uh -huh. yeah. Fourth Then is the spread. The bread. Spread the butter and the pyrex. Yes. At the pyrex. Uh, is, this is four. Okay. Yes. Number five. Number five is add the put. meat. To, uh -huh. Ah, put the, the cookies. Put one mm -hmm. layer of cookies. You have to put the cloth. Mm -hmm. After that, you have to see the piece. And finally, see you see the pieces. Uh, you have to see the pieces. After, after that, you have to see see. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We put four uh, slices. Sí, slice. Slice uh, of, uh, pickles. of pickles. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. We add. 
ketchup. Mm -hmm. Ketchup and uh, onion. Onion ring. Onion ring. Onion rings. And finally, <laughs> finally, mm, <laughs> after, after. After, después. Mm. Servir. After, uh, after, okay. Oh, uh, as sugar y la, la cinnamon. As sugar. Put a popote. ¿Cómo se dice popote? <laughs> Five. Si se lo quiere tomar con pajillita o, mm -hmm. o así nada más. El removedor. Sí. Le va a poner servir. Ok, uh, de, de una sola vez, ¿no? Uh, add cinnamon and add sugar and cinnamon. De una sola vez acá. And... Ok, add sugar. After, right after, after right. ¿Cómo se es esto? Right after. after. Yeah. No, no, right no. After. Add cinnamon. After that. Add cinnamon, cinnamon. Y por último, le vamos a agregar. Servir. No, le vamos a agregar este y, y finally, ok, aquí after right. After right. Uh, server, server. ¿Cómo, se, ¿Cómo dice server? Uh, Okay, guys, so it's time, time to check. So we're going to have um, a volunteer from each group to present the, the, um, the procedures to us, okay? So we'll start in order of the group number one. Um, okay, group number one, I have Andres and Werner. So who, which of you two is going to tell us the procedure? Okay. We have only five steps, teacher. Okay. okay. All right. First of all, tell us what it is and what are the steps? Uh, we was, we did it, we did the process of the clay Mm -hmm. So the first was do, do the clay, the second add water, third molding the clay, later cut the clay, after pile up the clay, just that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent, bravo, very good. Okay, excellent. All right, let's go now to number two. Group number two is Elsie, Janet, Katie, and Yvonne. Okay. 
Who's going to be the secretary that's going to tell us? Happy if you want to. Okay. Okay, go now ahead for it, Haiti. Our process is about making a dress. I need five steps to uh, first, you have to take measures of the customer. Uh, second, uh, you have to make the pattern. Third, you have to cut the clothes. After that, you have to sew the pieces. And finally, the customer has to try it out and see if it fits. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, what I the only thing I would suggest is cut out the word you have to just simply say first, and then say the what it, what the topic sorry what the activity is. Okay, okay. so for example, first uh, or um, next cut da, da, da. finally, um, the customer tries on blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, I got it. All right, very good. Very good. Okay, bravo. Excellent girls. All right, uh, let's go now to group number three, which was Edgar, Fabiola, Carla, and Alex. Who is the secretary? Is that you, Fabiola? Yes. Uh, okay, go ahead and tell us. How to make a uh, whopper. The the first show us the bread in the toaster. Second, Carla. Carla. Hello, hello. The second step. Ah, okay. It's use the package for sandwich. Third, um, in the base of the bread, put a whopper's meat. Uh, later, in the top of the bread, we add mayonnaise with two, two slices of tomato. After, we put four slices of pickles. Next, we add ketchup and onion rings and finally, uh, I don't have the last step, teacher. Oh, okay, it's okay. No worries. No worries. That's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. I can. Just, yes. Yes, Ricardo. Finally, finally, put all the ingredients together. Okay, that works. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> yeah, very good. Bravo. Very good, guys. Okay. Um, just um something just remember it's actually pronounced mayonnaise not mayo mayonnaise no it's mayonnaise think of it like uh like the the month of the year may right mayo mayonnaise mayonnaise okay very good very very good excellent okay group number um four i have francisco um, Javier, Juan Francisco, Marvin, and Wendy. Okay. Uh, we make a cappuccino. I like that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, first we pass the coffee grain into pure milk. Second, prepare the coffee scrum and add hot water. Third, fold the milk until it foams. Next, mix the ingredients in a cup. Later, add sugar. After, add cinnamon. After rice, serve the cappuccino. Finally, enjoy the cappuccino. Oh, I like that one. I like the last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bravo. Very good, guys. That's perfect. I, I, I liked how simple it was, too. Very good. Excellent. All right, let's go now to number five. Group number five is uh, Ana Claudia, Manuel, Alejandro, and Marlene. 
Okay, uh, we prepared a um, roster meat. Uh, first, uh, we need three pounds of meat, and then we cut the meat in a little piece. Um, after that, uh, we add uh, salt, garlic, uh, mustard, and onions. Then uh, we, we keep the the meat in the refrigerator for one hour. Um, next, uh, we we like a uh, light of the a fire or on the grill. Um, finally, we put the the meat uh, for um, ten or or fifty minutes. All right, sounds good. Sounds very delicious. Okay, very good, bravo. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. And the last group is Irene, Irene, uh, Luis, and Noemi. Okay, uh, I wanna tell you about uh, Soyla's recipe. Okay. Okay. This, okay. Is, this is about uh, cheesecake. First, you yeah. get the ingredients: milk, eggs, butter, sugar, cookies, and cream cheese. Second, we prepare the cookie mass. Third, mix eggs with milk, cheese cream, and sugar. Then, spread the butter on the pyrex. Layer. Put one layer of cookie mass into the Pyrex. Right layer, add the mix over the cookie mass. And finally, bake during 45 minutes. All right, sounds good. Another one that it sounds really delicious. Okay, <laughs> very good. So now you guys have more um, uh, recipes to try out at home, right? Tell us if you ever try any of those. All right, you can share recipes too. You can share them in the group. <laughs> okay, all right guys, excellent. All right, so that is um, talking about the process of things. What we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna move, move on to the next part, uh, which is this wonderful conversation that we have here. I want to know if you guys can see it. Yes, teacher, we see it. Yes, we can see Wonderful, okay. So, oh, oh, sorry. Okay, here it is. All right, so we have here this, whoops, sorry. There we go. Okay, so we have the conversation here. Um, this is uh, between uh, Joe and Kurt, okay? I know that, um, I know that in English, it looks like it says job, uh, but because it's a name, you don't pronounce it um, job. Job is trabajo, right? So to make sure that we understand that it's a name, we pronounce it Job, okay? Just like the, the name in the Bible, Job, okay? Mm. All right, so, um, all right, so let's begin. We have uh, Job and Kurt. Um, I want you to practice with me the pronunciation. So here we go, just like yesterday. Kurt, do you know what you need? Kurt, Kurt do, you do you know what, what you, need you need to have a good product? To have a good product. To have a good product. That's a good uh, question. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's a good, good question. question. I think that what I would do. I think I, I, that I will do. I will do. Is have quality in a product. Is, is have quality, quality in a product. product. What do you mean? What, what do, you do you mean? What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product. I'm saying is that, that your product. product. has to be the best in the market. 
has to, has to be, be the best, best in the market. market. Because of the competence. Because, because of, of the, the competence. competence. I get it. I, I get, get it. it. I get it. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. A friend of mine has a honey factory. A friend, a friend of mine has a honey, honey factory. factory. What my friend did, what my, my friend did, 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 was get fresh honey. Was to get fresh honey, honey from local farmers. From yeah. local farmers. farmers. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. And at the same time, and at the same time, time, he contributes. He contributes, he contributes to these people. To these people. Good. All right. Questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation. Yes, teacher. Contribute. Contribute. Okay. Contributes. Contribute. 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 Yeah. The stress, Contribute. The stress Contribute. is on the second Contribute. syllable. Contributes. 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 Contribute. Yes. Contribute. Farmer is the correct pronunciation? Farmers, yes, farmers. Farm. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. is quality or quality? What is the pronunciation? Quality. 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 With, with R. Quality, yeah, yeah. Normally, um, yeah, in English, sometimes the letter T is pronounced like an R, so we say quality, quality, not not so much quality. It, although it's not incorrect to say it, okay. Um, in fact, you will hear many British people pronouncing the T, and that's okay. But most people in the United States and Canada would have pronounced it as an R, right? So it'd be more like quality. 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 Like a soft uh, R. So I don't want you guys saying quality. It's not quality. It's more quality. So it's a soft R. Quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have a question. Uh, sure. You pronounce uh, uh, when Jove, yo, yo, no, you say Jove. <laughs> Jove. Oh, the because, name? Yeah, that's one. But the second is because of the competence. Is that the, the correct way? Competence? Or oh, competence? This word. Uh huh. This word. Okay. All right. So, this, like I said, in a normal context, uh -huh. this would mean trabajo, right? Uh -huh. But in this case, it's not. It's not work. It's talking about the name. name of a person. It's like when you say in Spanish, hope, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in English, hope, you pronounce it job. 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 Okay. Okay. Job. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And the other word is here is competence. Competence. The stress is in the second one. Compet or the first one, I'm sorry. The first one. Competence. competence. Okay. Thank you. Competence. Anything else? Uh, a teacher, uh, the meaning of the sentence because of the competence is like uh, por la competencia. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Anything else? What about men? Sorry? Men. Could you repeat that again? M-E-A-N. 
What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? This one here. Mean means, mean means. <laughs> it's like a common way to ask. Yeah, it, exactly. It's a common way to ask about the meaning or uh, what the person wants to say. Okay, what, when you say, what do you mean? It means like, what do you want to say? Tell me another way of what you want to say. Okay. Oh, Francisco has a good company right now. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it's first time in the class. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Like you, aprovechen the whole family. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Anything else? Any other words? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to quickly send you five minutes. I'm going to send you with a partner to practice the conversation. And then I also want you to answer these questions that we have here. What does Kurt's friend do to have better tiny quality? And do you consider that quality is important? Why? So five minutes to answer those two questions and to read the conversation. So, um, hold on, let me give me a moment. Okay, let me get you guys into breakout rooms. Like I said, only five minutes, guys. So give me, let's uh, recreate the rooms. All right, let's assign. Oh, no, wait, wait a second. Just give me a moment. Um, just give me one second. Okay, here we go. Let's open up all the rooms here. Edgar, Juan Francisco, you guys there? Edgar, Juan Francisco, are you there? Hello, you guys there? Hello, Edgar, are you there?
teacher. Hi. <laughs> they have a problem. What's no, we we have we have a problem. Es que no tomamos foto de nuevo de la conversación y ahorita estoy buscando el libro para para ponerlo. Ay, ¿qué pasó con el libro? No, teacher, es que yo ahora ya estoy yendo a la oficina y se me hace bien difícil como cuando estaba acá trabajando desde casa era más fácil para mí porque era podía tomarme como mi espacio para para digamos ponerme como a ver cosas de, de la clase pero allá no entonces ahorita lo estoy buscando ajá okay sí no ya es la segunda la tercera es la vencida ay no qué vaya bueno esperemos que bueno vamos a ver mañana a ver qué tal no se lo prometo que mañana sí voy a voy a descargarlo ya okay. voy a ver cómo hago pero aquí sí and what about yours? Eh, Irene, ¿qué pasó con el suyo? Es que tampoco lo he podido descargar y, y no, podí, no tomé la captura de la pantalla. Entonces, ahorita no tenemos cómo practicar. Ajá. Ahí está. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Lo van a poder hacer, ¿verdad? Thank you so much. Thank you. No, aquí lo tengo ya. Ah, no, no se ve. Por ese mi fondo no se ve nada. Ay, bueno, pero aquí lo tengo. Sí, ya lo, ya lo, voy, a, ya lo voy a mandar para descargarlo. Va, ok. Ok. Eh, empecemos. Sí, Ay, ahorita. teacher, no, no, no lo capturé. I'm sorry. Sí, ahorita lo voy a pegar. Ahorita lo... Ah, vale, no. ok. Sí, 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 ahorita. Ay, no, es estoy dormida, lo siento. Ok, bueno, no sé. Se... No siento que me va a poner no, falta no. la ficha. Entonces, no se preocupe. Así que, bueno, eh, eh, como se me echemos la culpa al, al calor. Ahí está. Horrible, eso es cierto. Ok. Okay. You can uh, see. You can see it. Yes, we can. Okay. So and the, uh, I'm going to be Joe and you, Kurt. Okay. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good? Why we consider quality is important? Because the experience and flavor. Is better? It could be. It's better, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. The flavor and the product. You say that. What do you say? The flavor? Yeah, uh -huh. it's sabor, verdad? Sí, sí. Puede ser fuerte. Because uh, it be the better in the market. Porque debe ser el mejor en el mercado. Yes, uh, I think yes, because uh -huh. uh, if you need to, to sell the products, the products, the products need to, to be uh, the best product in the, in the market. Ajá, uh -huh. o como decía mi papá. Justo... He got fresh honey from local farmers, right? Ah, no, pero tú léelo, tú léelo. Era... Uh, French honey for local local farmer. Uh -huh. And the other one. Uh, do you consider that quality is import? Why? important? Why? Important. Why? Important. Why? Uh -huh. Eso todavía no la copié. <laughs> la French. Okay, wonderful guys. 
All right, so we're gonna have two people help us with uh, the conversation. Who would like to be our two people? Anybody? Who would like to? Who would like to be um, Job? Okay, me. Okay, great. Marlene, you can be Job. And who wants to be Kurt? Me. All right, wonderful. You can be Kurt Noemi. All right, uh, let's um, let's practice. Go ahead. Okay. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's good. That's a good question. I think uh, that uh, what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? Uh, what I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from the local farmer. Some grace and, and at the same time, the, he contributes to these people. Very good, bravo, very good. Okay, uh, this word is contributes. 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 Yes. Contributes. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Now, this first question, let's answer the first question. What does Kurt's friend have to do? Have to, ha sorry. I, sorry, I'll repeat. I'll start from the beginning. What does Kurt's friend do to have better honey quality? What's the answer? Oops, sorry. He get fresh honey from local farmers. Right, very good. Sorry, guys. Okay, there it is. All right, good. He gets, the answer is he gets fresh honey from local farmers. Do you consider the qualities important? Yes. Yes, everybody considers quality important? Yes. The question yes. is why? Yes, I do. Why is quality important? To be the best to in the be. market. Okay, to be in the best in the market. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Personal. This is a personal question. The, the answer you will not find in the conversation. The answer you will find it within yourself, right? So, what are your beliefs? Why is quality important? Or why isn't quality important? Be the it's first. Yes, Carla? <laughs> me, it makes it uh, uh, I have an idea because the quality is the best seller we can get. Okay, we can get, we can sell more, right? Yeah, sell or, yeah, exactly. So the better the quality, the more we sell. We sell. Uh -huh. yeah, exactly. All right, very good. Now, if you notice uh, in this conversation, we can we have highlighted these or no, but it's not highlighted. They're in bold, okay? Or we have emphasized these expressions. Some expressions are what you need, what I do, what I would do, what I'm saying, what your friend did was. So, what do all of these words have in common? Sorry, these expressions. What? What do all of these expressions have in common? They have to use what? Exactly. They all have to do the, with the word what, exactly. That is the reason why we're learning here about what clauses. What clauses? To make a what clause, what we do, oops, sorry. Okay, what we do to make a what clause is we have an expression that begins with the word what. Sample, what you need, what my friend did, what I would do, what I'm saying is. Notice that the, all, they all start with the word what. And what this does is emphasize what you're going to say. It's like when you say in Spanish, lo que. 
Les voy a decir, lo que tú necesitas, lo que mi amigo hizo, lo que yo haría, lo que yo estoy tratando de decir. So we're emphasizing whatever it is we're saying. So we always start with the what, and after that we use the, the verb, right? In this case, need, or sorry, the subject first. So if, oops, sorry. Um, so if we're looking to find the, the structure, the structure kind of looks like this. The what, what plus subject plus verb. And the verb can be in, um, the verb can be in any form, right? It could be in the present, the past, whatever you prefer. This part here is what we call the what clause, right here. This part here is the what clause, okay? And after that, we use the complement, right? Okay, the complement, whatever it is. For example, um, so what you, so this is an example. What you need is to have a great product. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. What I would do is sell my product in new markets. What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. Now, what word do we use in all of them? What have you noticed? Before the compliment, what comes before it? The verb. Right, and what is the verb? Um, in this case, to have in the first one is in present. Okay, look, look at this. Okay, so the, 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 um, the what clause is what you need. Yeah. What my friend did, what I would do, what I'm saying. And then what comes after that? What do you notice? What comes after the, the what clause? Repeat, please. But in this case, the subject, I'm looking, I confused where the subject is. Okay, uh, look, look, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to make this easier for you. I'm going to um, underline it. So the, the, what, the what clause is this, what you need, uh -huh. what my friend did, what I would do, what I'm saying. Those are, the, that's the what clause. This part right here is the what clause. What comes after the what clause? Have to be verb. Exactly, notice, I want you to notice that we use for example, Compared to be. is, was, is, is. So you can use the verb to be either in the present, in the past, or even in the future, right? But we have to use the verb to be, okay? And norm, norm well, in this case, uh, because the subject is only one thing, we're going to be using is or was, okay? All right? And then we have here the compliment. So just to make sure that you guys do understand it, I'm going to put here that we put the B, okay? So we have B plus the compliment, okay? So that is our structure. Any questions about that? No, Okay, so just to make sure that you understand it, let's do this. Let's um, let's see if you guys can figure this one out. So, teacher, uh -huh. uh, we only have to use is or was. Yeah, um, normally is or was. Okay, because um, normally the what clause is referring to one thing. So that's why we're going to be using it. Okay, so it's just going to be is or was, but you, it's, it is possible to use in the future. That is possible too.
Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is this. Look at one of these sentences. That we have here four sentences. Select the best expression from the table and select in section four to complete the sentences. Example, my best friend just opened his own shop. And then you can use one of these to complete the sentence. Okay, so right now let's try this out. It shouldn't take you very long. What he did was okay, open We're going to check those answers in a moment. Just I'll give ah, you okay, a okay. little chance to do it. I'll, I'll give you guys, uh, you know, maybe two minutes to complete it and then we'll share the answers. Okay. Okay, how you guys doing? Okay, you ready? Yes. One more time. Okay, let's check the answers. So my best friend just opened his own shop. What do you think would be the answer? What my friend did. What my friend. Did. What my friend, oh, hold on. What my friend did. Did. Uh huh. Very good. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. Very good. Next. Many people want to start their own business. What you need? What you need is lots of information. Good. What you need is a lot of information. Good. Next. I don't know where she, where she has to start. What I do what do is promote the products online. Good. What I would do. She needs. Or why? What I. What I. Ah, what I will do. Oh, okay. What I would do. Yeah. So it means like, if this is if, if I if this was my problem or this is what I was going to do. This or this if this was my 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 company, I would do this, right? Okay. And finally, uh, people don't know don't buy new products because they can't. What I'm saying is good. What I'm saying there is no demand. What I'm saying is okay. Good. So those are the answers. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, so there you go. Those are the answers for this exercise. And what I'm gonna ask you to do, uh, second. For homework, we're gonna be doing this. So you're gonna work individually. 
prepare a two minute presentation about a product from your company. You're gonna introduce important information about this product using what clauses? Okay, so you can use any one of these, right? Uh, what you need, what my friend did, what I would do. What I'm saying is, and this is not, it's not, this is not just, this is not the only uh, what clause you can look on the internet and you will find more what clauses that you can use, right? These are just some examples of how you can start with what, right? Okay, so this is just giving you ideas, but there are infinite amounts of ways that you could use what clauses, okay? And then finally, tomorrow, we're going to be presenting the information in small groups. Okay, so the homework is to prepare a two minute presentation about a product from your company and in, you're going to be using what clauses. Sounds good? Great. Questions? Yeah. Everything is clear? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. All right, so remember, this is the structure. What plus subject plus the verb. Okay, that's the what clause. Okay, guys, those that will be all for today. Um, and um, according to the, to the, um, what's it called? Um, to our schedule, uh, we have scheduled um, Andres Giovanni. Andres, how will you be staying today? Andres, Andres, uh, Andres Giovanni, who's yes, that? Okay, are you going? Are you going to be staying, Andres, or uh, today I can I can't. You can't? No. Okay, all right. If there's anybody anybody that would like to stay for the session, no, nobody. It's open right now. <laughs> No problem. No problem. That's, that's fine. I just have a question. Are you going to share like a calendar? Maybe they can schedule the ones missing because I had my yeah, time I yesterday. Can share, I can share the program with you. I'll send it to the to the WhatsApp group. Yeah, I can do that. Yes. No that worries. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, just before we finish, I'm going to take um, the last part of the of the attendance quickly. Ana Claudia? Here, teacher. Perfect. Andres Giovanni? Andres Giovanni? Present. Wonderful. Okay. Um, give me a second. Okay. Uh, Edgar? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Elsie? Present, teacher. Great. Okay. Fabiola? Great. Um, Francisco. Francisco Good Javier. Good. Excellent. Haiti. Good. Irene. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Josue Alberto. Josue Alberto? No, right? Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. No. Carla Cana. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carla's present. Liliana Melissa? Liliana, no, right? Okay. Uh, Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay, great. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesus? No. Marvin? Here, please. Perfect, great. Wendy. We need you. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Great. Noemi. Noemi. Present. Okay, wonderful. Yvonne. Present. Great. Daniel de los Santos. Daniel, no. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Okay. 
Uh, Marlene? Present. For beautiful. And uh, Ricardo? Ricardo, Alex? All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to do the homework, OK? Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you, teacher, tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.